guys, welcome to episode 19 of Bucket for Beginners. And in this episode, I'm going to go over how to use multiple classes for your commands. Um, as I said in the last video, it's much cleaner to code this way. It's much more efficient. And what we're going to use is an interface to do this. So let's begin. Now I still have all this uh, my interface stuff that from the video that I recorded about 10 minutes ago. So, what you want to do is, um, and I apologize, I'm, it's, I'm actually really tired. I had my last final today. So, let me just gather my thoughts for a second. What am I doing? Okay, so, up until now, you've kind of put everything in, um, in your one method, in your boolean on command. And you, and you have your command sender... We have a uh, command label. We have a. Oh wait, no. I'm sorry. Command label. My God. String is the label, and we have our args. <coughs> so, let's import these get our return so this is what you've done up until now you've done if um, the label equals you know blah, blah blah then do the code that's your way of saying if it equals this command but there's a much cleaner way to do this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and make a new class okay we're gonna uh, our package go to new and class and uh, let's see we'll make a command called um, hello so we're gonna call this hello command done now what this is gonna do is this is going to implement as I said in the last video our interfaces it's gonna implement the command executor interface and let's import that now as this is gonna require us to add the methods and if you can guess, the methods that it's going to want you to add is the on com or um, the on command method. And there it is, on command. Now it's kind of formatted all funny, but that's it. And we're going to rename this because we like our own stuff. Label. Uh, this is our CMD. This is our sender. Okay, now something else that we have to do is um, we need to pass the, the hello command class an instance of our main class. Um, well, actually, if you don't use it, um, or I'm sorry, if you don't use anything from this class, then you don't, but it's good practice to just get into it. I, um, I do it all the time because I store a lot of my variables, like my config files and such. I just store all of it in my main class. Now, you can't um, you can't just make you know a turtles plugin and then use this. You can't because this isn't going to have a value to it. So you have to give it a value. Now, how you do that? You can't make like a you can't make a new turtles because it's a um, you can't instantiate it. You can't create an object out of it. So what you have to do is we have to make a constructor. And if you remember from the other video, a constructor is the public and then the name of the class and for this parameters we're going to ask for a turtles plugin type and we're going to set this class's plugin equal to the plugin that we passed it so you know what I'll, I'll make it um pa past plugin I can spell. So we're going to make the plugin equal to whatever plugin they pass in, which is right here. Now this is going to give it an instance of the um, of the main class because when we enable it, or I'm sorry, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back here. First, let's see. Let's find out what, what we want the command to do. Um, what should it do? Uh, we'll send a message to the player saying hi. 
So we're going to cast the player to a sender. Wow, cast the sender to a player. I need to get back into this. Holy crap. Uh, okay, you can do it. <clears throat> Wait. The fuck? <laughs> I apologize, guys. I haven't programmed in too long. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to send the player a message. Hello there. And that's it. Obviously, you can put as much as you want into this method, or into this command. Um, but for now we're just, we're just going to keep it simple because I, I don't want to clutter it. This isn't about making commands. This is about teaching you how to use the separate class. So what you're going to do is uh, when the plugin gets enabled, you're going to want to do this. So you access this class and you want to um, get the, what is it, get the plugin manager? No. Oh, that's right this get command now this is going to ask for the name of the command that you want to get so in our case it's hello you can put anything you want here just because I named the class hello command doesn't actually mean that it has to be hello but you know just to keep it nice and clean we're gonna do that so we'll make it hello and we're gonna set the executor of the class equal to the hello command. Now if you notice, look at this. This set executor um, method, the parameter for it is a command executor. But if you remember, command executor is an interface. What this, the, you know how last video I said this will make it all make sense. What this means is you can pass any class which implements the command executor into this method because the command executor um, this set executor method it's gonna look for just this command and since any class which has um, which implements the command executor is gonna have to have this command it automatically knows okay I'm allowed to use this class because it has this command it's guaranteed to have this uh, or I'm sorry this method so that's how it um, it's able to use it like that it's a little tricky but as you keep using it you'll pick it up and you'll understand it so we're going to pass in an instance of our hello command so we're going to make a new hello command and we want to pass it an instance of this class which is turtles and that is it you don't necessarily have to have this you could just do get command because this is going to refer to this um, class regardless but just to keep it clean, I like to put this there. It doesn't matter. And that is it. We can get rid of this. So when a player when a player types slash hello, it's gonna go to the executor, which is right here. And it's gonna know that you're talking about this command, and it's gonna go right into here. So we have to add this to our plugin YML really quick. It's hello. Save and export. Oh, I still have all the uh, stuff all set up. Nice. Sorry, I forgot to start up the actual server. Let's get Minecraft open. I think this is 1.6.2. Yep. Because I am too lazy to update my client. Or a server, rather. <coughs> Whoa, we went full screen. Uh, hold on, I'll fix it. Because I don't know if this video recorder actually records full screen. There we go. Okay. Let's go to our server. Reload. Now, if we type hello, hello there. So it found the command that we typed, went to the executor of it, and it executed the command. And that's it. Now, one more thing I want to cover before I uh, 
end this video, is, um, how do I explain this? So, it, you know, for plugins like Factions, it'll have, you know, F home, F set home, F blah, and this music is irritating. This F command is, you know, that's a command. That's like the base command. And then they have all this, these subcommands here. Um, and I've had a lot of people ask me how you do subcommands or like a good way to organize it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So the way that I do it, you can do it however you want, but just the way that I personally do it, and excuse me, I have something in my eye. Oh my God. I think we're good. Um, the way that I personally do it, if I can even remember, it's been so long. Let's go back. So, what you're going to want to do, um, let's say we want to make a command slash hello and then um, Kyler. That's my name. Hello, Kyler. If you type that, it's going to kill you. But if you just type slash hello, then you're good to go. It's just going to send you a message. So what you want to do is I'm going to make a subcommands class. That's what I always do. And like always, I'm going to pass it an instance of the main class, which is turtles. Subcommands. This, if I can type. Okay. Now, what I usually do is I make the name of the subcommand in like as a method. So I'll do public void um because it's not gonna return anything. Execute execute Kyler command. And then we're gonna pass it a player object, because that's a player that did it. And also uh, we're gonna want to give it the arguments that they pass in, just for testing purposes. So we're going to uh, go back to our main class, wherever it is. I'm going to make a new instance of the um, subcommands class. Bring subcommands. And actually, I think subcommands. Subcommands. Can I make a new instance of it? No, because it passes it in. So we're going to just give it a name here, but we're actually going to enable it in the on enable method. So we're going to do subcommands equal to a new and we're going to give it an instance of this because if I was to make a new subcommands here and try to give it an instance of this class it would throw a huge error because this class doesn't exist yet until it's enabled. Now we're going to go to our, where is it? our command and we're going to say should I put it? If the args, uh, if the length, oops, if the length of the arguments is equal to um, one, which should be means that there's one argument, then we're going to. Oh, I'm sorry, I put it in the wrong class. Silly me. I thought that there was a. You know, I, I don't usually. This it looked funny to me that this does not go here silly me this goes in the command class and when you instance when you create a new hello command you're going to um, make a new sub commands and I'm gonna give it the pass plugin and notice if, if I was to give this an instance of this plugin it would be an error because we don't give this a value until the next line down. Mm -hmm. Just a little side note. So if the args length equals one, we're going to do some commands, execute Kyler command, or actually I should also test if args equals args zero. Ignore case. If it equals Kyler. Execute Kyler command. We're going to give it the player and the args from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. 
and then we'll say if it's not equal to one. Oops. Else. Bam. Now, there is a little bit of a cleaner way to write this. Um, if you only have one line of code below an if statement, you don't necessarily need the brackets. So if I was to do this, and my act, my programming teacher showed me this, and now I'm like addicted to it. That is perfectly acceptable. There's no brackets, but and it, it, if you do Control A and then Control I, it'll fix the indentation. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'll need it for. It'll think it's going to there. Oops. There. So you can do that. That is perfectly legal. And that's it. So now this is going to say if the um, the first argument is equal to Kyler, then it's going to execute this command, which in our case, right, let's go to our Kyler command. We'll make it, um, we're going to set the health to zero. And it wants a double. That's why I put a D in there. And that's it. Save. Export. Let's reload. So if I do hello, hello there, and if I do hello Kyler, I am now dead. Oh geez. Okay, well that is it for commands. I don't think I have anything else to uh, explain. Hopefully that makes sense. I I also hope I'm not rushing through it. I'm trying to do my best to get back into this. I should probably program for a little while and then start making videos again so I don't look like I'm an idiot. <laughs> But that is about it. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to add me on Skype. Um, one quick note, a lot of people that have added me on Skype so far have been asking me very um, simple troubleshooting questions like, hey, can you look at my code? I don't know what's wrong. And most of the time, the error could have been found by you guys. This is, I'm not trying to like um, call you dumb or anything. Like, It's perfectly fine, it's understandable. I did the same thing. But the problem is, you can find the error yourself if you know what to look for. So before I start the kits plugin, uh, next video I'm going to explain how to f um, troubleshoot and debug your own program, or I'm sorry, your own plugins, which I hope hopefully should help a lot of people. And then after that, we are doing the kits plugin. So as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.